Hi, I'm Kate from Ashfords and I'm super excited to introduce the latest accessory for our Kiwi spinning wheel, the Kiwi Super Flyer. What makes it super? Everything is just awesome. It's got a supersized bobbin, supersized free flow yarn guides and a supersized orifice. So you can spin all your wild and untamed yarns, your beaded, buttoned, bubble, coil, twisted yarns, as well as all your standard and all your regular smooth yarns and your fine yarns on it. Um, it has a supersized bobbin which holds a whole bunch of yarn. Um, I've applied 500 grams, which is about 17 and a half ounces of DK weight yarn onto one bobbin. So it means that you don't have to change your bobbin as often. Um, the supersized free flow guides uh, 25 mil which is one inch and the orifice is the same so you can spin all your bits and pieces into your yarn and you won't have any catches or hang ups at all. The Kiwi Superfly comes as a kit, it does require a little assembly but once it's assembled you can attach it to your Kiwi and you can swap it with your standard flyer anytime you want. Uh, the kit includes bobbins, you get three bobbins and you get a lazy cape comes with the sliding hook flyer and it also comes with a new drive belt. So let me show you how to assemble the Kiwi Superfly and attach it to your Kiwi wheel. This is what comes in the kit and you will also need a hammer, a screwdriver and some candle wax. You just put on the screws and it makes the screws go in easier. Step one, lazy cable. Step two, attach the front bearing and make sure that you put it on the side with the recesses in. And now we're going to attach the brake band, the leather brake band. Step three, we'll take the rear bearing and you'll see it's tapered on one end and put that in the rear maiden upright. So now we need to attach the maiden uprights to the maiden bar and make sure that these two holes are nearest where you're putting the rear one on. And now the front upright And now we want to put the bobbin on the flyer. Now you'll see that we've got free flow guides on both sides. You actually only use one side, the other side is to balance your flyer. So we'll pop our bobbin on and before we do, I will get some oil and I will just oil here, here and here. Okay, just the attention adjusting knob to go on. on. So now our super flyer is assembled, we just need to swap it over. So we're going to take the drive belt off and now we'll take the brake band off and using the Allen key that come with your super flyer you just want to undo this bolt here and you just want to lift off your maiden bar. Just give it a bit of a jiggle because of those dowels under there. So now we can put the super flyer on. Using the same bolt. Done. We just got to put our drive belt on now. So now we're ready to spin. So start with your leader and start spinning. Start with your tension completely off, so the knob's completely up, and just wind it down a little bit until you feel comfortable with the amount that it's, or the speed that it's pulling in the fiber. Don't have it too tight, otherwise it will just pull the yarn out of your hand. Remember to treadle slowly. It's 
especially if you're doing thicker yarns because if you treadle fast oh you're just going to get way too much twist in there so you can see how easy it is to spin a large lofty single and if you wanted to add some slumps into that you can So now I'm plying my slubby yarn and I've got a nice strong core yarn that I'm using to apply it onto and I'm going to make some cute little bumbles. So when I'm making these coils I'm letting my core yarn wind around here so it secures it at the start and I'm kind of twisting this backwards around it and then when that's on there nice and tight I'm going to push it up and then again I'm going to let my core yarn wind around the finish of the coil to secure it so it doesn't slide up and down. So another variation is just to spiral it around without pushing it up which looks kind of cool too. And another variation is to wind your core thread over top. So that's a whole lot of fun you can have just with plain slobby yarn. So to do your core spinning, just make sure you've got a very strong core and you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. So here's some of my rosebud yarn and I can show you how to do that on the Kiwi Super Flyer. Uh, you'll just need a core yarn and some just commercial yarn or a single hand spun would be best and some bits and pieces to make your rose petals or rose buds out of. So here we go, plying away, plying away and then when we're ready to put in a rosebud I'm just going to stop and I'm going to get a little bit of whatever I'm using and just tuck that in and I'm just going to twist it around a bit as I'm going and remember not to treadle too fast and then when you get to the end of it you want to come back up and just go back and forth to make the stem. Cool? Yeah, I think so. So that's the new Kiwi Super Flyer. Pretty awesome, isn't it? I'm sure you'll love it just as much as I do. Okay, well that's enough from me. Um, happy spinning!